Hey, what's up guys? Cho with another video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, you know, give the video a like, and maybe, you know, go down there, get a little comment, so, and tell me how I'm doing. Um, but anyways, let's go ahead and get into this video. So, um, you're about to go to boot camp, right? Or you just, you know, just looking into, you know, what boot camp's gonna be like before you decide to go in, right? Uh, so you probably heard a lot of stuff. A eh? you probably heard it's like the worst thing ever. It's gonna be the worst time of your life, the worst experience of your life. Blah blah. blah. You probably heard Jones start doing this like are just freaking the devil. But besides the fact of whatever you heard, I'm gonna give you eight tips that's gonna make your life a lot easier when you go to boot camp. Right. So first things first, you need to yell and be as confident as you can with uh with whatever. Right. So you're gonna get there. It's gonna be a big culture shock. It's gonna be a little scary when you first get there. You're gonna have all these guys running around yelling. They're just like beating sweat and all that. They're gonna, it's, it's gonna look kind of scary. You're gonna get there and be like, man, what did I sign up for and all that, right? But so they're gonna be telling you to scream and all this stuff. And you're gonna have people that just, just shut down, just go into the shell and just, you know, not respond until the drill instructors. They're, uh, they're gonna be like really timid and stuff. So the drill instructor is gonna go after them, like them the most, right? So if you come in day one, you know, already yelling, showing a little bit of confidence, and then, you know, later down the road, they're going to be, like, asking you, like, questions and stuff. You just yell and just confident, even if you're, you know, right or wrong. You're yelling and you're confident in what you're saying. They're they're going to sure they're going to correct you, maybe, you know, mess you up if you're wrong. Uh, but they're, they're going to see that, you know, that you're learning, you're progressing, right? It's just those people that are not, like, yelling, uh, people that sound like, like, when they ask them a question, it's like, they're like, they say the answer like it's a question. Like, that's gonna be the people they target the most because they're trying to, you know, trying to mold you into this person that's, you know, confident in what you're doing and all this stuff, right? So that's that's my first tip for you. Uh, second tip, you know, move fast and just like have some intensity, have some like purpose behind whatever you're doing, right? So they're gonna be telling you to do this, do that, run here, run there, you know, all that stuff. So if you always try to be, you know, the first one done, like they tell you to go touch this, like go touch this wall, go touch that wall. If you always, if you always like strive and be the first one to touch it and be back, like um, the drone searchers, the drone searchers will see. They're gonna see everything, right? They're gonna notice people who are just, who uh, just trying to slip, you know, fall in the cracks. They're gonna notice people that you know don't really care, and they're gonna notice the ones that do care. So if you, like I said, if you always, you know, moving, doing things as fast as you can. Um, and just showing some intensity, they're not gonna mess with you as much. They're gonna mess, they're, they're gonna target those people that are, that are trying to slip through the cracks or that are not trying, just, you know, just act like they don't care and stuff like that. So make sure you're, you're moving fast and showing some intensity. Uh, next, be neat and organized and know your lock combinations. So um, you're gonna be stressed a lot in boot camp. You're gonna be stressed. Um, it's gonna be, there's gonna be a lot of things you're, you're gonna be doing and all that. So gonna have a lot of gear we're gonna have all kind of stuff you need throughout the end like you know your entire eight weeks right so with all your stuff if you need to organize you know where everything is um and all that when they ask for something if you know we're right where it is hey that's that's less time you gotta try like uh looking for it and finding it so you know you'll be able to get back you know wherever you need to go to or wherever show them that you got something but if you're all you know all your stuff's just everywhere that's gonna take more time finding that they're gonna be yelling at you, then you're not gonna be able to find it, and then it's just gonna just gonna add on to all the stress. So if you're neat and organized, you know where all your stuff is, everything has a place. I'm telling you, it's one less thing you have to worry about. And then they'll see that you're neat and organized, and they probably won't message you as much, but if they go by and they look at somebody else's stuff, it's all or it's all like unorganized and stuff, they're gonna just make it a bigger mess. So that's that. And your lock combinations. I'm telling you right now, your locks. The locks are a game changer. The, you, the people that don't know their lock combination, they 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 struggle a lot. So know know your lock combination because that's you gotta lock up all your stuff, right? So to you gotta have locks on all your stuff. So in order to get the things that you need to get, whenever they ask for something, you have to get into you have to use your lock, you have to undo your lock or whatever. So if you know your lock combination like the back of your hand, then you can get into whatever you need to get into and get uh, whatever they're asking for as fast as possible. So know your lock combinations. I'm telling you, that will be probably one of the biggest game changers ever, just knowing your lock combination. Um, next thing, study whatever knowledge they give you. So you're gonna learn a lot throughout your eight weeks about just the, the whole Marine Corps. You're gonna learn everything there, there is to know about the Marine Corps pretty much. So um, make sure you just study that knowledge because they're gonna be questioning you here and there. Y'all might just be chilling or whatever somewhere and Joe sort of comes up to you like, hey, what's this, this, and this, and this. And if you don't know, then you know it's kind of like, 
a reason for them to like kind of mess with you or whatever. But if you already know it, you yell it, you're confident and all that stuff, um, then they're not going to mess with you. They're going to move on to the next person. So make sure you study that knowledge because they're going to constantly be testing you throughout, you know, your eight weeks. And plus, you're going to have tests throughout the eight weeks. So just make sure you know, you know, your stuff. Next, just listen. If if you just listen to whatever they say, you're going to be OK. They're going to tell you exactly step by step what you need to do, exactly what you need to do. You're, they're going to tell you when to you know, go eat. They're going to tell you when you can use the restroom. They're going to tell you everything that you look, is possible. There, there is possibly to do while you're there. They're going to give you a step by step, literally. So if you just listen to what they tell you to do, you can't get messed with. They, they can't mess with you if you just listen. That's that's another big thing. So do that. Um, next, take it take it chow to chow or meal to meal. So like the days. Um, don't don't count down. If you count down each individual day, it's gonna make it a lot worse. And it's gonna make it seem like you're never leaving. But if you take it meal to meal, then it's um, it makes the days go by a lot faster. So you know you're gonna eat three times a day. So breakfast, boom. You're gonna do something after breakfast. Then lunch comes around. You got lunch. You do some more events or whatever you got planned, whatever that day is uh, specifically for. Then you got dinner. And then once once dinner hits, you know, like, hey, cool. I know I have to get eight hours of sleep. Uh, so they can't do that much. Like, they can't mess with me that much because I got to get eight hours of sleep. So because there's only a limited amount of time in the day. So if you take it child to child, I'm telling you, your days are going to go by a lot faster. And it's going to be like a lot less stressful because if you try to count down each individual day, it's going to just seem like it's never going to end. Uh, next. Uh, letters it's that this is probably other than the locks this might be one of the biggest things that is going to help get you through it um the just being able to seem like you're still like like kind of a human and all this uh, all that's going to make it a lot better for you just you know that that a first initial letter you get whenever you're there is it, it is like a it's a big game changer for you because you realize why you're there you realize you know you're fighting for like your family back home or whatever whatever purpose you join the Marine Corps for. Uh the letters are a big thing. Just make sure you don't write any letters like uh other than the time they give you to write letters at the end of the day. Um because that's just a bad day. It's a really bad day if they catch you writing a letter. So just don't do that. But I definitely recommend, you know, writing home whenever you can, whenever they give you that time to, because you're gonna need that motivation, need that boost from your loved ones and you know your friends and stuff. Next, uh, just just keep that determination, that motivation, and that drive to finish and make it to the end. Um, as long as you have that, I'm telling you, it's not boot camp is not as bad as everyone thinks. You're gonna get out, you're gonna graduate, you're gonna look back and be like, man, that wasn't really that bad. So if you keep that motivation, that drive, that determination to you know finish and make it to the end, you, you don't really have anything to worry about. Sure, you're gonna have better days than others. You're you're gonna be uncomfortable. It's it's something new. But just just remember why you join and why you're there and what you're trying to accomplish. Just make sure you don't lose that motivation and that determination, that drive, because it's going to get hard at times. And then it's, it's going to be seem like a hey, cool. I, I'm, I'm getting through it now. It's a little bit easier and all of that. And just a little just a little side, like kind of note. Um, boot camp is just a big game. It really is. Once you realize it's a game, then you're going to be OK. It's all just a really big game. Um, drill instructors, they do, they do everything for, for, they do everything with a purpose, right? Everything has a purpose behind it. It might seem like they're just messing with you to mess with you, but they, they're messing with you for a reason. And once you realize why they're messing with you and you fix it, then you start to notice, hey, they don't mess with you. They don't mess with me as much, but all that. But it's all just a big game. And once you get, you'll get there and you'll realize what I'm talking about. If you just play the game and just do what you need to do, follow these tips and all that, I'm telling you, boot camp is going to be a walk in the park. I'm telling you it is. But uh, I wish you the best of luck or or whatever you're gonna, whatever you take from this video. I hope you take all the tips I, I gave you and take them to heart. But I do wish you the best of luck. But uh, leave some comments down below. Give it a like. Make sure you subscribe. And hey, I'll catch all y'all guys later.